This lesson is about categories and flags to help you stay visually organized to at a glance see the important items on your inbox. Now my inbox is pretty long and I've got it's all black and white but I've got my my notes added which helps me but over here on the right I've got categories and I've got flags. Now the flags, follow up flags, you can actually left click to make them red or I could do a right click on them to get options and right down here I can mark as complete when I'm done with the flag to give me a nice little handy check mark or maybe entirely you just want to clear the flag that's just fine as well. Now notice on the home ribbon of the inbox I do have in the option right over here follow-up flags with the same list I just saw on my right mouse button so it's up to you sometimes it's handy just your mouse is already there just hit a right click you'll get the same list now let's talk about categories now categories are different categories will allow you to actually color code topics now flags just mark them as important you want to get back to them the categories will color code them now I've got some already tagged here so if I just do a left click right here it automatically puts a red color code on it by default I'm going to change that and I want to choose a different color or maybe I want to look at all categories. Now under all categories you have a variety of colors, 25 different colors. And I can actually click in here and I can actually rename one of these by simply clicking the rename, typing a new name and clicking OK. Now if I choose this to be my blue category, my travel, it'll put both of them on there. So you can have multiple categories on email, that's fine. You can also sort by these categories. If I click it again, all my travel ones will come up to the top, my red and my orange, or I like to stay chronological, so I always stay on received, and then what I do is I actually build a search folder. Now you'll see this in the next video about folders on how to build these search folders and gather them together, but just so you know they have that option. Now there might be something going on in your email you might not have categories. If your categories list is gone for whatever reason, maybe you accidentally drug it off or you didn't like it there and let go of it, but now that you know how important it is, let's go ahead and make sure that's back on there. So I'm simply going to go to my view ribbon and my add columns and right in here you'll see categories. Simply add it to the list and hit OK and you'll get your categories back in case it has Spanish. So again, um, up on the home ribbon we also have a categories drop down arrow with the same options that you saw on the right click of those categories as well. So there's a couple ways to do it. So please watch the next video and I'll show you how to use folders to stay even more organized with your categories and your flags.